the largest city in America. 300 square miles. Eight and a half million people. Tenacious, powerful, confident. All of it built from scratch in just 400 years. And the secret to its success? Its rivers and harbor. In the waters around New York, archaeologists have located thousands of wrecks. Time capsules that can reveal this city's incredible story in a new light. One in particular. What is this strange wreck and why is it here? As New Yorkers recover from the shock of 9-11, the ruins reveal a secret from the very start of their city's story. Little did we know that from this terrible tragedy, there would be a major discovery, a secret from the past. By 2010, 1.8 million tons of debris have been removed. The construction of a high-security parking garage is underway. They decided to make that entrance underground, so they dug down deeper than they had before. 22 feet beneath the tarmac, in the shadow of the Twin Towers, the remnants of an ancient ship. At the construction site at Ground Zero, a rare find. What we can see is believed to be half of a ship. Construction halts, and a team of archaeologists rush to ground zero. The principal investigator, Warren Rees. It was right there, right where the security area is for parking at the World Trade Center. When Warren arrives, only part of the ship is exposed. Its secrets still hidden under the mud. The history of this particular vessel might fill in tremendous gaps in our knowledge about the history of New York City itself. To find out more, Warren's team scanned the excavated site with high-accuracy laser technology. Combining the high-resolution 3D data with cutting-edge computer imaging, we can turn back time and drain Ground Zero. To reveal an astonishing subterranean secret. Layers of Earth crumble away. Twenty-two feet underground, in the heart of Manhattan. The flattened wreck of a wooden ship. It's 30 foot long, and its structure is roughly hewn. We've never seen a vessel just like this. It was not only rare, it's one of a kind. What is this ship? And what's it doing beneath the heart of Manhattan? More than 500 yards from the shoreline. To find out, Reese and his team need to learn its age. Taking a closer look inside the wood, they find well-preserved tree rings. They reveal that the timber was felled in 1773 or soon after. It was like a time capsule, it's a secret time capsule. In America, 
The 1770s mean only one thing, revolution. What we have is a, a vessel that's been hiding underneath New York City that's from the revolutionary period.